What's up guys, Wolf Guy here. This is my strategy slash guide how you can do the mastery weapon kills and finish them in one game. This will take a lot of grinding to do, but this is the fastest, like, semi fastest method to do it. So let's get into it. Whatever weapon of choice, uh, the two weapons of choice you want to bring in, I'm going to be showing you just one weapon here. There is two ways you can do this. But I'm going to show you this strategy that I came up with. Season 4 added the tracking system for these mastery weapon kills. So without further ado, let's get into our match here. Now first, um, I don't recommend having an ammo mod, but I have Kyo Freeze. I usually have a legendary or epic tool. I don't pop my path crystal because i save that for later if you're staying here for the um final exfil it's understandable to pop it but i don't pop it here in this gameplay since you got like 45 minutes before the storm comes i usually do the contracts the best to help or you can do exfil um exfil farming um if your weapon can withstand tier two Bring it in, it'll be alright. Before I leave in, I go to E4 if I'm doing the Pack-a-Punch method. If you're going to Act 1 Story Mission, which is Extraction, I go here, this, this spot, if you hold Interact, it will unpack your weapon, your rarity, and ammo mod if it's applied. It is RNG what you get, sometimes you get elemental pop from it. So I recommend going here if you're doing the Pack-a-Punch method. If you're doing the Pack-a-Punch method, though, I don't recommend popping your Legendary or Epic tool until um, you unpack your weapon, because then you'll get a lower downgrade of an Ether tool. Now, if you're all set, head to the story mission. If you don't have a self res, don't be afraid. The game will give you a free one once you start up the mission. And... This is where I start if I start putting on my pack a punch crystal. Don't be afraid. If you see your if you see your mastery camo, don't be afraid. It will still count. This is how you bypass it because you go in between loading zones. This works also in the dark ether as well. Alright, starting at this point, I start doing the kills right here. You can take your time. Um, I stay until the storm comes in anyway, so do the mission normally. Cannonball! Alright, once you get to the helipad with the dock, um, I usually wait up because the zombies still go for her. So once she's in the helicopter, this is how my strategy begins. Once she's in the helicopter, this is where the spot I go to. You can use this spot for the melees as well. If you're if you're using like snipers or marksman rifles, I kind of recommend training on the helipad. But make sure you don't go into the helicopter because you will end the mission and end your match. So I usually sit here until the mastery camo is done, whatever I'm doing, and then then you're all set. And then I usually stay anyway until the storm comes. Once the storm starts coming down, go into the helicopter and then you end your match and then you rinse and repeat. I hope this helped you. I This is the fastest method I can come up with because it's too war zone But it's still pretty decent. The grind now. Once the integration starts, I hope this strategy still continues on if people still play MWZ. But, anyways, if you have enough, please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. I will fly back to you as soon as I can, though. But, without further ado, I hope this guide helped you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.